Almost a year ago, I did a video on the 2016 13-inch MacBook Pro without touch bar and tested its gaming performance. I was young then, naive, and also not as fat as I am now. Hey Siri, set a reminder for me to go on a diet. Ha ha ha, you fat. But this isn't about that. This is about how there is a way to play games not supported by the Mac on the Mac without using things such as boot camp or virtual machines. What I'm talking about is NVIDIA's GeForce Now for Mac. A person representing NVIDIA emailed me about a brand new service that they're offering for the Mac. This service, along with software, would allow you to basically use cloud computing as your gaming PC. Basically, it turns your Macintosh into a game on -tosh type of machine. But seriously, this is actual, useful cloud computing. Unlike Google Slides, where your college group project member keeps drawing inappropriate body parts. Since the service is still in beta, they have decided to make it free to the public. And eventually, they're planning to switch it onto a play-as-you-go pay model. If you're thinking about checking it out, I'll have it in the video description down below. What the service essentially is, is it allows your Mac can use the horsepower of a NVIDIA computer somewhere else via the internet, allowing you to play any Steam or Blizzard game you own. What happens on that computer is being sent back to your Mac through the internet, streaming the content that's on that computer straight to yours. Basically, NVIDIA saw this guy who FaceTimed himself in the bathtub using his PS4 and decided to make it more polished. So here's how you get started. First, you actually gotta make sure that your Mac is supported. The same link down below will help you. Macs ranging from 2008 to the present support it, but just make sure because not all models support it. Setting it up was super easy. Download the application like you would any other app, open it up, and the app will analyze the internet speed it will be working with. NVIDIA requires a 25 megabit per second download speed and recommends 50 megabits per second while also recommending either an Ethernet connection or a 5 gigahertz wireless signal. Then you can sign into your NVIDIA account or make one. From there, you can pretty much play any game you own on Steam or your Battle.net account. Once in game, it acts just like the game should, while still giving you all the benefits of Mac OS. It's still in beta, but it looks pretty good. However, there may be some quality degradation because honestly, my internet's not amazing, just good. There's a list of games that this service currently supports. However, they have said themselves that you can pretty much play any game in your Steam library. The only limiting factor is it may take a little longer for them to install a non-supported game. But as for now, I think this is a cool service and I think it's really cool of them that they reached out to small creators for projects like these. This service really has the potential to be game changing for people who game on a Mac. But I think I'm going to give it about two more weeks before giving my more in-depth analysis on the service. It just seems a bit too early. I haven't had too much time messing around and I want to spend the next week or so doing that. So wait for that video, guys. Anyway, I hope you guys found this video useful. If you enjoyed it, give it a thumbs up, comment, and well, don't forget to subscribe. I'll see you guys next time.